Get rid of every fish and every tank that you have in your house right now. Get rid of them because I got a better fish for you. It's better. It's, it's better than a cichlid. It's better than a beta. It's better than a, a live. It's better, it's better than all of better. This is the better one. This is the better. Not a beta. Better. And you dig it. Why so serious? This video is for everybody in the fish keeping. Everybody in the fish keeping hobby. I'm a little bit ashamed of myself because I'm just now making a video about this fish, but better late than never, huh? I got me seven nano tanks, 15 gallon nano tanks, and I was putting them together. When I got them, I told myself I'm gonna have a centerpiece fish in every one of them. They're not just gonna be packed with random fish. There's gonna be one fish that stands out. I was leaning towards cichlids because y'all know I'm a cichlid dude. By heart, you know I'm a cichlid dude. I love the angels, I love the Central Americans, I love the big monster cichlids, but 15 gallons, not in the cards, right? Didn't want itty bitty little teeny weeny bitty teeny weeny teeny weeny cichlids. That's a whole lot of itty bitty teeny weenies I just said. You know, like the badasses and the rams. Although I do have a tank with ram, a ram in it. I want something that has a little bit more beefiness to it. I wanted something in the four inch range. Five would be pushing the limits, but three to five inches. So let's just say four. Ain't a whole lot of colorful cichlids in the four inch range. There are in the African cichlids. I could probably find some mbunas that fit the bill, but not a whole lot of new world cichlids. And that's, I kind of like the new world cichlids. So I had to look elsewhere. I needed to scour the whole world for different species of fish that would make a good centerpiece fish. Garamis, always, I had it once before a long time ago. That I can't even remember what it was like having it was the pearl scale, pearl, the pearl scale garami which i do have one but that's not the garami i'm talking about the garami i'm talking about is the neon green that's what it said but i don't think it's a green neon green paradise garami i personally think it's like a neon blue in fact i googled it and tried to find a picture of another fish to compare it to and to be honest with you i can't really find another fish that has the same coloration as this one, which is not odd because these fish are product of selective breeding. So, you know, things come out differently when people mess around with genetics. I don't really care. And the fact that it said neon green and it's actually not a neon green, that's kind of, it happens all the time in the fish keeping hobby, whereas like the wholesaler might have somebody who's not really familiar with the fish. They pick it up thinking it, they ship it. Then the pet store, not really familiar with the fish too much. And they put the name on there. The fish doesn't really have its colors because it's stressed out from being in transit. It happens. I'm not mad at it. I'm actually, I, I don't, I forgot how much I got it for, but I know it was less than what I would have paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I would have paid more for it, but whatever. So what stood out about this fish to me was its head. First of all, that it reminded me of a snake head, which I've always wanted a snake head. I still do. They're illegal here in Florida. You get a lot of trouble if you have a snake head. So I will never own a snake head. Paradise Garami is not like any other Garami. It actually has a personality. It almost acts, I don't wanna say almost, it acts like a cichlid. From working in pet stores in my past, I have sold this fish a hundred times. I've explained this fish to a, a lot of people a hundred times, but it was all secondhand knowledge. I never kept it myself. It was stuff that I learned from other people. So let me go down real fast and tell you what I learned from it. One is that it's a labyrinth fish. So it's related to the um, betas in that it can stick its mouth up out of the water and gulp air if necessary. This does not, this particular fish, Garamis do not do it half as much as betas do, but they do have the ability to do it. Man, charisma, like it knows you, it plays with you. It comes to the tank, it wants to see. Other Garamis could really, unless you're feeding it, they can care less about you. But this particular fish, you can see it being curious. You can see it um, exploring. You can see it figuring stuff out. But before we go any further, let me just take this quick opportunity to tell you if you enjoy what you're seeing so far, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get, you get notified every time I put something out. Hit the like button. You don't know how much that little gesture on the thumb bleep, does for my channel. It's a small gesture on your part, but it tells the algorithm this, this video and my channel is worth watching and it will send it out to other people so that other people can enjoy my silliness.
If you would like to support the channel, you can hit the super thanks button, which gives me a little, whatever you decide, you know, it gives me a, a, a super thanks with a little um, cash amount. If you guys would like to help support me and my channel and the growth of this channel, I got to mention my members only. I hold my members in very high regard. I, I believe any of my members are, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more special. So I try to cater to them and you could be a member too. Just click the membership button and get content that I would normally never put out for public consumption, but I do for my members because they deserve to know everything about me uncut raw and unadulterated but for fun you can come to my live streams that i have every saturday at 10 a.m eastern standard time um and on wednesdays 10 p.m eastern standard time where it gets really ridiculous you get a whole lot of me i talk about fish if anybody asks about fish i will stop the conversation and get all up in it but for the most part you're just hearing the ramblings of a crazy man that would be me the crazy man i also know from hearing complaints about this fish from customers is that it has a mean streak like a cichlid where that it will pick on other fish i'm gonna tell you what fish i would prefer as tank mates but i'm sure other people who are way more experienced has uh, other experiences where they have different ones but i'm gonna tell you the type of fish that i think this fish would go with as far as tank mates go this is where it gets a little bit tricky this is where you might want a bigger tank you can put them with smaller fish if they do not find them as threat They'll leave them alone, neons and stuff like that. But I think you will get more out of this fish if you put it in with a little bit more hardier fish. Let's, uh, I'm, I'm thinking barbs would be a good fit. Rams would be a good fit. I have, as far as a bottom feeder goes, I have Siamese algae eaters, which they kind of get too big. They get about six inches. So I'm gonna have to trade them out, which I'm sure no pet store is gonna have a problem. If I give them a six inch fish, they give me a three inch fish. They're, they, they're gonna be all right with that. Florida flagfish is a really good algae eater that I'm using for this tank because of hair algae. I did have some long fin quarry cats in there and that did not work out. I had to take the quarry cats out. I figured the long fin albino quarry cats would look good against this black. And they did look good against the black gravel, but um, I noticed that they're tail fins were disappearing and it was only one culprit so if i had to say you know um i probably wouldn't put it with angels unless the angels were bigger so they seem to like long fins i don't know if that's all of them i know that's the one i have don't need anything special foods a community flake will do i would suggest with the colorations that this sucker has to go ahead and give it a little boost with some color enhancement flakes the ph it's a wide range it's like six to eight so anybody's tap water pretty much in this um in the united states or anywhere else would probably do the do the do as far as the ph goes but here's the fun part here's the fun part temperature they have a huge temperature range it's like 60 to 80. so really you kind of don't even need a heater for this fish most people keep their homes around 74 75 at least i do yeah i'm not one of those weirdos who have an air conditioner and set the ac to 80 if you're one of them what's wrong with you and seeing how the temperature of your aquarium is normally five degrees less than the ambient the room temperature then they really don't even need a heater they only get four inches so a 10 gallons just fine they're originally an asian fish and they do like the um ability to hide within plants every once in a while but for the most part they're mid swimmers they swim in the middle of your tank they take up the whole tank they just don't stay in one little spot they're very active i don't normally name my fish and i won't name this fish either like i won't name fred or eddie but i definitely his colors his blue and red colors and it and there's an iridescence to it I think if I had to name him, it'd definitely be Superman. I also have a fish in here that I'll, this is the first and last time I'll probably keep this fish, and that is the, um, what is it, Rainbow Danios, which they get a little bigger than regular Danios, but not as big as the giant Danios. I'm not a Danio person. I just thought their iridescent colors would look good in this tank, and it does. I'm happy they're there, but I can't figure out any other reason why I would keep these um, fish, the Danios, red tail sharks, anything that wasn't a punk, but wasn't too aggressive. So I would keep them with very low semi-aggressive, low to sem semi-aggressive, on the low spectrum of semi-aggressive cichlids. If you have some, I would have no problem keeping them with let's say like a blue Acara. I think they would be just fine. Um, a rainbow cichlid, I think they'd be all right. 
angels if the angels were big enough because of the long fins i think they're right i don't think they'd be good with betas honest to god i don't think this fish would be good with other garamis to be honest with you at least from the stories that i've heard i don't know if you have different experience with this fish please let me know but if you're looking for a really easy fish fish to keep that doesn't take serious heater requirements you don't even need a heater doesn't take crazy food requirements doesn't take crazy water um ph requirements 10 gallon tank you could put it with cooler fish than just itty bitty guppies and stuff yeah paradise uh garami i i i'm i'm definitely it's you know here's the thing right now as we speak it it might change next week my favorite fish i have so far <laughs> Dun 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 d